Hello, I'm Jerry Willis, and this is Open House, the show that saves you money. Still ahead on Open House, how to tackle those credit card balances and get out of debt for good. We'll show you how. Home values declining, consumer debt in the billions. You may be worried about your spending this holiday season. And if you're already in debt or concerned about racking up more, you'll want to listen to our next guest. Brad Stroh is the founder and CEO of Bills.com in San Francisco. Brad, welcome. Thanks, Jerry. Good to be with you. You know, you say, like so many experts say, look, don't make the minimum payment on your credit card. I think that's right. You know, that's a trap that a lot of consumers get lured into. Uh, and it essentially means you're not taking control of your own consumer financial situation. you got to pay more and more and more, right? You, you, what you really want to do is pay off the balances as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, a good data point is if you have $20,000 of credit card debt and you're just making the minimum monthly payments, that could take you 10 or 15 years to pay off. And if you instead had invested that money at a 10% rate of return, in 15 years, you'd have half a million dollars. Wow. So get out of those debt balances as quickly as okay. possible. Okay. Well, you know, another interesting thing that people do, they get into the habit of rolling over credit card debt to uh, credit cards that don't have any interest rate. Those 0% offers, is that a good idea? Yeah, so it's really enticing because, you know, the lower monthly payment makes it seem like a short-term uh, gain. What we advise consumers, if, if you don't have the ability to pay the balances off in full, be very careful playing that pyramid scheme. What we really want you to do is get disciplined and figure out a way to, with your own cash flow, pay those balances off. If you have a lot of financial stability, then teaser rates and balance transfer uh, advances can benefit you in the short term. But be very careful not to compound a problem by adding on additional credit card debt. Brad, what's your rule of thumb for spending in the holiday season? So, so the estimates are that the average American adult will spend about $900 uh, on their loved ones around the holiday season. If you have the financial wherewithal, that's terrific. And, and the holiday season is a great time to, sh to spend time and, and spend money on your loved ones. If you're in financial distress or on the precipice of financial distress, be very careful about compounding your problem around the holidays. We'd advise people to, instead of spending money, try to figure out clever ways to show people you love them without going into debt or causing them to go into debt Hey, themselves. you know, it's not all about the price tag, you know? I mean, you can really give great gifts that you make yourself or something, things that are just really creative. But you brought up financial distress. When do you know that your debt problem is out of control? So now more than ever, and I think this holiday season more than ever before, it's important that people pay, be very disciplined and pay close attention. If you're just making your minimum payments, as you mentioned earlier, if you're getting collection calls, if there's a lot of emotional distress around your credit card debt, you're probably right at the point where you need to seek help or get very disciplined about getting out of that debt problem as quickly as possible. When do I search out a credit counselor? So there's a bunch of credit counseling or debt consolidation options. If you own your home and you have equity in your home, you can always do a debt consolidation refinance loan. If you don't qualify for that because of credit or you, you don't have enough equity in your home or you're a renter, you can look at nonprofit credit counseling, which lowers your monthly payment, your interest <coughs> rates, and is a way to cut your monthly payment and avoid having falling off the, the precipice of, of a serious financial problem. You could also seek out uh, solutions like debt settlement negotiation, which is a much more aggressive strategy that impacts your credit but will help you avoid bankruptcy. Or if you're really financially distressed and can't afford anything, is seek the advice of a bankruptcy counselor. Brad, great advice. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Jerry. Good to be with you.